God has a will, we know that. God will do His will. Whatever the Lord wills, He does. Whatever He purposes, He brings to pass. The will of the Lord cannot be thwarted. He is absolutely sovereign. He does what He wills in every life. He does what He wills among men. He does what He wills in the world. He brings His own purposes to pass. That aspect of the sovereignty of God is clearly revealed all over Scripture. But here's a very interesting illustration of how that goes together with responsibility. Uh, in the uh, tenth chapter of... Uh, of Isaiah, uh, God introduces Assyria, the nation of Assyria, the people of Assyria, and He introduces that pagan, uh, idolatrous nation in a very interesting way. Verse 5, Isaiah 10, woe to Assyria. Okay, a judgment is coming on Assyria, a judgment from God, woe. Woe is an onomatopoeic Hebrew term. We say woe in English, it, it actually in Hebrew is oyah. It's, it's that kind of groan. It's, that's why I mean onomatopoeic. That's, the, that's a word that sounds like it's meaning. So it's a, it's, a, it's a word of terrible distress that signifies destruction and judgment. God is going to destroy Assyria. God is going to bring divine judgment on Assyria. Then from there we read, the rod of my anger and the staff in whose hands is my indignation. God says, I'm going to judge Assyria. And then he identifies Assyria as the rod of his anger and the staff of his indignation. In other words, Assyria is a weapon in the hands of God. Assyria, God is picking up Assyria like a weapon to use Assyria to unleash His wrath. On whom? Verse 6, I send it against a godless nation and commission it against the people of My fury." That's a sad designation because he's talking about Israel. God, and it happened in history, picked up Assyria and sent Assyria as a destroyer against an apostate, idolatrous Israel. God says, I am going to pick up Assyria, the rod of My anger, the staff of My wrath, my indignation, and I'm going to send it against a godless nation, against Israel, and that's what He did. Uh, Syria was God's tool. You know the story of the Assyrian invasion of the northern kingdom in 722, took them captive, massacred them, and they never returned from captivity, the, the northern part of the divided kingdom. Assyria was the weapon, and He says in verse 6, to capture booty to seize plunder, to trample them down like mud in the streets. And that is exactly what happened. Then you come to verse 7, most interesting, yet it does not so intend, nor does it plan so in its heart. I'm going to use Assyria to do this, and this is not Assyria's plan. This is not what Assyria is choosing. This is what I am choosing for Assyria to do. This is not Assyria's intent. This is not its plan. Rather, it has its purpose to destroy and cut off many nations. Assyria is targeting all kinds of nations, and there are names in the next uh, verse, uh, verse 9, that identify some of those. Assyria has its plan, but I have my plan, and I, without their planning it or intending to do it, I'm going to pick them up and use them as my weapon. Well, this is amazing. Assyria has no intention of doing this. God literally sovereignly picks them up, drives them at Israel to accomplish His will. And then he says in verse 5, woe to Assyria, woe to Assyria, a nation to be destroyed for doing something they didn't choose to do, doing something they didn't plan to do, doing something that was not their intention to do. Assyria had its own plans. God had different plans, but Assyria will be destroyed. Verse 12, it will be when the Lord has completed all His work, 
on Mount Zion representing Israel and Jerusalem. He will say, I will punish the fruit of the arrogant heart of the king of Assyria and the pomp of his haughtiness. And then he goes on to quote what the king of Assyria said uh, when he became proud and launched against Israel. God says, I'm going to destroy him. Verse 16, I'm going to send wasting disease under his glory a fire kindled like a burning flame. The light of Israel will become a fire, His Holy One a flame, and burn and devour His thorns and briars in a single day. He will destroy the glory of His forest and fruitful garden, soul and body, as when a sick man wastes away, etc. This is an amazing juxtaposing. God punishes a nation for doing what God picked them up and made them do. There's no explanation. There's no way to harmonize those things. Full responsibility for pride fell on the king of Assyria. Full responsibility for evil intention and uh, massacre fell on Assyria. Even though they were acting by divine decree, they bore full responsibility for what they did. This again is an illustration of those parallel realities, human responsibility and divine sovereignty. And they will always run parallel and they will always have to be understood that way. Sinners bear the full weight of responsibility for their acts of defiance against God even when God is using them to accomplish His purposes. And yet all things are decreed and determined by God as to their final end.